In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, dearly, the Lord in Christ, and Father, Emmanuel, Aria. And I would like to share with you a touch of God's love. That's a short of reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Tuesday, 23rd July, 2024, 16th week in ordinary time. The readings are taken from Micah 7, 14 to 15, 18 to 20. Psalm 84, 2 to 8, Matthew 12, 46 to 50. The theme of the reflection is how to build a good relationship with God. How to build a good relationship with God. The first reading says, We shepherds cook, O Lord, lead your people to pasture. The flock that is your heritage. Living confined in a forest with middle land all around. Let them pasture in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old, as in the days when you came out of Egypt grant us to see wonders. What God can compare with you, taking fault away, pardoning crime, not cherishing anger forever, but delighting in showing mercy. Once more have pity on us, tread down our falls, to the bottom of the sea, throw all our sins. Grant Jacob your faithfulness, and Abraham your mercy, as you swore to our fathers from the days of long ago. And the Gospel says, Jesus was speaking to a crowd when his mother and his brothers appeared. They were standing outside and were anxious to have a word with him. But to the man who told him this, this, Jesus replied, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and brothers. Anyone who does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Beloved, in the first reading, the prayer of Micah teaches us how to build a good relationship with God. Having realized that the relationship that the people of Israel had with God was either very weak or dead, Micah decided to commit himself to prayer. It is possible that he said this prayer daily or very often. How do we proceed? First, he began by praying that God should lead his people with his shepherd's staff, shepherd's crook. This is a prayer of surrender to the will of God. It means that the Lord should enable them to always live according to his will. Surrender totally to his will. Secondly, he then asks God to lead them to prosperity. This is a prayer of faith and hope that God is rich in treasure and as we surrender to his will, he will lead us into blessedness and glory. He will help us to prosper in every respect, materially, spiritually, psychologically, we will prosper. Thirdly, uh, to strengthen the faith he has in God, that God will lead us to prosper, he then started to praise and adore him. So praise and adoring God, praising and adoring God, strengthen his relationship with God, his union with God, and uh, enabling the power of God to work in him more and more. Fourthly, after adoring God, he realized his unworthiness and the unworthiness of his people and he started to ask for forgiveness. He told on him that his people have really sinned against God and they need forgiveness. And so he started to pray for repentance and forgiveness. Lastly, lastly, he asked God, to be faithful for the sake of the promises he made to their ancestors. 
Uh, he was claiming the promises that God made to the ancestor, the promises in the scriptures. This Jesus teaches us, this teaches us to also claim the promises of God in scripture when we are praying. And this will make our prayer powerful. Therefore, to build a strong relationship with God, it will be good to pray daily or regularly. And our prayer should be like the prayer of Micah and consists of surrendering to God's will. One, two, asking for our needs. Three, praise and adoration. Four, repentance and forgiveness. And five, claiming the promises of God by thanking uh, him for fulfilling his will in our lives. Even if those promises have not yet been fulfilled, we can already start thanking God for them. And by doing that, we claim them. For instance, if uh, you are sick, you can already start thanking God for healing you. Even if the healing has not yet taken place, and through that, you will claim your good health. The gospel confirms that surrendering to the will of God is the most important part of our prayer and our relationship with God. And Jesus did this by rejecting the call of his mother and relatives in order to focus on the will of God. Rejected the will of the call of his mother or the will of his mother to focus on the will of God. Then he explained by saying that his mother, brothers and sisters are those who hear the word of God and do it. Thus, he did not reject their call out of disrespect, but to show that the will of God must be put first above human will. And Mary would not have a problem with that because she already surrendered perfectly to the will of God and that was what enabled her to give birth to Jesus and she already believed that Jesus uh, is God so she would not have a problem with whatever Jesus did he surrendered totally even to the will of Jesus I was ready for whatever Jesus would do so she would not have a problem with that thus if we want to have a good relationship with God we should pray daily or regularly she be committed to prayer for the grace to surrender totally to the will of God and not to allow any human being or anything from preventing us or to prevent us from doing the will of God. We should not allow anything to prevent us from doing the will of God. Beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to pray daily like Micah. In the name of Jesus, your relationship with God will grow from strength to strength. Amen. Can you share God's love by sharing this message with others and subscribing to this YouTube channel to enable us to do more. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. Psalm 1, 1 to 3 says, The one who loves and meditates on the word of God day and night is blessed. May this become real in your life. And may Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.